so I just pulled up on my first job site of the afternoon. Looks like a pretty simple one. I'm up the 10th line in Amaranth. Beautiful countryside, beautiful day. First thing I do before I even get out of my vehicle, I open my laptop, I search the records. We're looking for where the hydro lines are, the hydro poles, whether it's aerial or buried. We're looking for the gas main, gas services, and we're looking for your hydro, primary, secondary lines. Hydro is all aerial. There's no gas in this area. Then after I've researched them, I will start my drawings and that's all done on the laptop. And lastly, I get out, I hook up to either the head or the hydro pole or the hydro service at the house and then I'm locating it. There's different signals you get and that's a good one. So now I would just follow it down the driveway Love it when I get a good signal. Just kind of make my dots up the way and then I'll do solid lines on my way back. A little out of my comfort zone. I come from an advertising sales background. So I was given the opportunity to locate underground utilities. No previous experience and the training was great. I've got some really fantastic supervisors that I can count on. If something seems confusing to me or sometimes you overthink it and I'll just give them a quick call. They'll walk me through the process. So we have all the tools we need. We just are basically locating the underground services. Perfect. I'll go back in my truck, do up my drawing, finish up my ticket and submit it. Yeah, some of these bigger areas are a little bit more, you know, pain, but whatever, right? You got to do it. There's like manholes I look for sometimes, and they usually have bigger conduits. That's what I'm looking for right now. Not in here, not, not in this area. Should be one somewhere around here. So now what I do is I, uh, I'll look at my computer uh, and I'll see what's around me, what jobs are around me, and then proceed uh, to those jobs. The laptops that they give us, give, give us a, a visual list of where all our tickets are in the area. And then uh, we can choose which one to go to. So it's kind of nice like that where they give us the freedom to choose uh, whichever ticket we would like to go to, with the exception of emergency calls. Whenever we get an emergency call, we have to actually go within two hours to that emergency call. So red is generally a project and then gray is, you know, standard tickets. So if I open, let's say for example, 17, Stargell Crescent, open it up. So I take a look, see what I have to deal with. Okay, so it doesn't seem too bad, it's just a park. So we can go there next. We come over here. Oops. You see the, the side? On the side there's a little box. That's where I connected to. As you can see, there's other lines already here. The red is hydro and the yellow is gas. There's no noise whenever you're not really close to the utility, but see as you as you get closer to the center of it, you'll start to, to hear the, 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 the noise and you see how it goes, you hear it going a little louder. And then when you when you go away from it, the signal, you know, gets weaker. It kind of gives you an idea where it is visually as well as auditorily. Yeah, no, this is not just labor, actually, you know, like this is you need to use your brain a bit more <laughs> than that. You have to kind of be more analytical, uh, have to be able to pay attention to what's around you. 
that's one of the things uh, what's really interesting is um, for me personally uh, I, I, I got a, a new appreciation for utilities because uh, you know it's it's funny um, before getting into this industry I it almost didn't occur to me some of the things that I see now you don't even notice it but then now I see all this infrastructure everywhere I go in poles and stuff now I kind of understand how it works right but before I hadn't you know it didn't even occur to me people won't notice unless they're in this industry you know I can't do a problem I want to talk about it okay. so I was looking at the records and according to the records the gas main on uh, Broadway is about five meters or four meters from the hydro poles. It's 3.8 in some areas, four in others, but mostly it's four. The problem is the hydro poles are on the south side, whereas the uh, the gas notes are saying they're on the north side. A support system is extraordinarily helpful for this job because despite the repetitiveness of a few tickets, you'll get a lot of homeowner tickets. You get a lot of tickets where you're on a main street and there just isn't what there should be in terms of locating stuff on the main street so in this instance the pipe it should be on the north side according to the records but other evidence is saying it's on the south side so getting somebody else to also look at the records and to potentially come out and confirm or to go over that yes this is something that needs to be escalated makes me feel a lot better about doing it and just make sure that there's a lot less mistakes in the job so for this house on 15 we checked the records and went through kind of what's going on in the area. So what we learned is that on Matthew Street specifically, there's only one gas main and it's on the far side of the street. So the two houses that potentially will be on our area are long. As well, 15's gas connection is on the far side of the house. But the other thing was when I looked at the records, I found that there was an abandoned gas main on that side of the street. So linking the records, it linked to an Aslade for that street down there which showed that this entire street was still on that side, well out of our area. So even though it is an abandoned gas main, we don't have to worry about it. So yeah, I'll get my stuff and we can tone out the gas service. I noticed that this wasn't behind a fence or anything, so it's not in the backyard, it's right in the front yard. That's where I'll stick the ground spike. And then I just put small marks so that I can see them, but those won't last a craft. So the last part of this ticket is just to get measurements. So I'm going to measure how far into the lawn this way, and then how far from the driveway for these two. Before I start the drawing, I always want to orientate which direction is north. In my drawing, I'm going to put Matthew Street this way, Fed Street this way, and then the house just here. We have two gas meters here, so when I go through my records, I'll note that and make sure I know. They might be connected and be the same pipe going down, but we'll see that with records. For me personally, it can be a bit of a mixed bag. I enjoy working by myself. I don't have to deal with customers like I have had in the, in the past. And sometimes you have conversations with homeowners, but otherwise than that, your day is mostly just by yourself, which is nice. The downside to that though is, is you do have to have a lot of personal time management skills and personal kind of motivation to get it done because there's not a crew with you to keep you going. So if you take a break, you might end up taking a five to 15 minute break without realizing it. Um, and it's just a lot of working by yourself skills that most other jobs don't ask of you. So you have to develop a different skill set in terms of time management for this job. I personally am quite a big fan of working by myself like this. I still need to work on skills that I haven't had from other jobs, but otherwise than that, it's going wonderfully. Okay, well, I gotta find a spot to get my crowbar in. Sometimes the grass is all grown up around it. This one's not too bad. Loosen the, the edges. Oh, get both hands under there. 
Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, there are a lot of times I've got to open up a flush to grade, which is essentially an encasing in the ground with fiber in it. And it's it's very heavy. Got to get my crowbar in there and get it up. Not going to break a nail. It is a physically demanding job, but it's doable. And then we have this fun stuff. Okay, it's 20 after three, just going through the records to see where my last ticket of the day will be. Ah, this one's nice and close. Okay. I believe these stumps are all being removed. So they have to have their locates done to be able to dig. Um, I'll just have to sketch out this area, do my to's and from's, just take a look around. Okay, and there's more stumps over here. There's three there, there's three over here. Yep, very front corner. Perfect. So this whole area is clear. I'll double check with the records. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm basically creating, well, it's my work area where I have to locate. This is just depicting where my area is. This house is 50. I'll put in the street. And I'm just locating in the backyard. So I've just uploaded my last ticket for today. I am done. I'm going to clock out. It is just after four and I'm ready to call it a day and I'll get back at it tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.